Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, some of you guys have been asking if I could make some sort of uh, walkthrough. So I'm going to start with a walkthrough with our friend uh, the Batman. So let's get started. Uh, basically, <clears throat> I'm going to make walkthrough with uh, all the mentors uh, eventually. I'm starting with Batman, but eventually I'll make a walkthrough with uh, Alex Luthor character, a Joker character, a Superman character. Uh, eventually, I will try to get around to making walkthroughs with all six uh, mentors in this Universe Online. I decided to start with Batman because uh, it's the Batman 80th anniversary, so why not? So obviously we're going to start with the, the first Brainiac mission. Um, if you remember, if you saw my uh, creation video, character creation video, I created a Batman looking uh, character. Uh, basically using uh, various styles from the marketplace, you can have a pretty darn good looking uh, Batman character straight at character creation. Uh, there's two, uh, as I mentioned, there's two ways to create your character. You create, uh, you first create your character at character creation, but then as you play the game or as you purchase items in the marketplace, uh, you continue your character cre you, you continue to customize your character uh, in this universe online. So here our Batman friend uh, is using uh, martial arts and he's using uh, gadget powers. I will pull back a bit because I know some people don't like it when I, I'm too close to the action. So basically this is the very first mission in this universe online. You wake up in a Brainiac's ship, there's Oracle trying to guide you, and there's some evil Brainiac uh, robots that are trying to stop you. Just to let you know in case you didn't watch my previous video, so basically I'm using uh, gadget powers, but obviously you start with your level 1 powers, and, and as you go up in level, you gain more powers. Uh, my loadout, again right now, I only have the 1 power. And my weapon, uh, I've pretty much purchased all the the martial arts uh, weapon combos I could. Uh, basically, when you nowadays when you start a new character in this universe online, you start with basically ten skill points. Eons ago, it was a bit different, which is also one of the reasons I guess I was due or overdue to create some sort of walkthrough. Basically, I have a billion walkthroughs. I have my Doctor Strange character that uh, I made video from level 1 to level 60-something. I have my Black Lantern Batman that I made videos from level 1 to level 100 or something. Uh, the same with my Wolverine character. So I have a whole bunch of characters that I've made video of. I have uh, uh, Shazam from level 1 to I forget uh, what level. So you can see here, uh, there's this big uh, skull thingy that usually warns you when uh, an evil NPC will try to make a, a big attack to attack your character. So uh, I waited a bit. You, so whenever you see a big skull like that, it usually means that uh, the evil NPC will make a big attack. Uh, usually what you want to do when that happens, uh, you just want to block... Look for a transport tube, they crisscross the ship. Use that to keep moving. There are some cases where uh, you're, you're going to want to do another action than blocking, but uh, as a rule of thumb at first, uh, start with blocking, and eventually you will learn with certain enemies that uh, blocking is... Uh, with certain enemies, blocking is not really the move you want to do. So basically we got a pair of gloves from, from that evil NPC and we got a, a cola. So let's equip those. And sadly, at this level, it doesn't tell you how much health and power your cola restores. But your character has very little health, like you have a 700 health, roughly, and a 300 power. So, it doesn't really matter. And uh, usually, this early in the game, I don't usually use uh, colas very much, so it won't be really an issue. Oh, and before I forget, uh, basically, if you're wondering how I created uh, the look of my character, I went to the marketplace. And eons ago, basically I've been playing this universe online for roughly 7 years, so I purchased a lot of stuff in this universe online, and I purchased a whole bunch of, uh, of styles. So basically I'm using the Batman 80th Anniversary Emblem, I'm using the Dark Spectre Batsuit, or some of the Dark Spectre Batsuit style, and the Dark Knight uh, Call. And I'm probably using, oh, and I'm using the belt from uh, the DC Bombshell Harley style. And pretty much everything else comes from uh, directly from character creation, like the cave, the boots, the pants, and the, the chest piece. All that comes from character creation. Uh, again, if you really want to have more information about how I made uh, this character, uh, just take a look at my character creation uh, Batman video, and you should be able to see that. So, and uh, sometimes in this universe online, you'll see a little chest like this one. So, and this one gives us a little chest piece. Uh, 
by the time we're done with this mission, we should be able to have uh, a piece of gear in pretty much uh, every slot, except I think the shoulders, uh, the headpiece, and uh, maybe something else I forget. So again, as you progress through the mission, you'll find hordes of uh, evil Brainiac robots. And they're roughly... The, the, early, uh, the early levels are pretty much to show you how the game works. And also to give you, uh, to allow you to learn how to use your, your weapon, how to use your powers. Not sure why, let's pull back a bit. So basically the early missions are just to get used to the, your weapon, to get used, uh, and slowly as you gain more, as you gain your powers, you're going to learn and uh, get used to, to using your powers. Here the, the first power you have as a gadget character is a power called the teaser pull. Basically, it's a it's a, a, a wire that pulls the enemy towards you, and it also electrifies them. There's a high security nexus up ahead. Get through and use the transport tube. I forget if there's another pull move uh, for the uh, for the gadget power. Again, you can see there's uh, another chest uh, over here. So there are missions where you'll see a little chest like that. There's no reason not to break them. And here we got a little pair of boots. So let's equip our boots. And also sometimes you'll get some junk like that. Uh, that that junk is pretty much uh, useless. The only use for that really is to to sell it to um, any vendors. So let's go down here and let's continue. And obviously, this mission will show you how to activate the consoles. Like you see, whenever you see like a you see that little laptop symbol. Just mean you can interact with uh, the little console here. So once you do it, opens the door, as you can see. And it's strange uh, nowadays. Uh, there's a whole bunch of those items that are now available as uh, base items for your base. Uh, sadly, it's only base items you can get at the anniversary event. Although you probably get can get uh, some of those items on the broker still. And also there's barrels here that you can uh, basically, oh, not this one. There's barrel also that you can uh, throw to your uh, to enemies. So basically you you pick up the barrel with uh, the, the circle button and then you throw them with the, uh, the triangle button. You could smash them also with the, the square button. Uh, let's try another one just because. Like you could take one and smash it on the ground using the square button, or you can just throw it around using uh, the triangle button. Ideally, you want to throw uh, anything on uh, on an evil NPC. Although, as you saw, it didn't do uh, that much damage to the NPC, so uh, sometimes it's a eh, it's a little bit of a waste of time. There are ways to be able to make a bit more damage when you throw objects. But uh, not really. Uh, one thing that you can do when you're here is you can try to break every barrel you can. Uh, basically, there's a feat. As you can see, there's a feat for breaking uh, barrels. So here is a good place where you can get a little bit uh, ahead in your feats. I forget what's the maximum uh, feat for the, the red barrels. But while you're here, there's no reason not to break them all. Worst comes to worst, you'll break a few barrels that you don't really need to. And also, there should be. I think I broke the uh, the orange barrel. Oh, well, let's try to. We'll, we'll have some more in just a bit. I'll be able to show it to you. So we're pretty much done here. Uh, there's still a few barrels. Well, it doesn't matter. So let's continue. You can explore a bit. Like that. Usually the map is a uh, not a bad map, bad looking map. There's a few things I might have done differently, but uh, what can you do? This is this is how it works now. So you can see the evil armies of uh, Brainiac that are getting ready to invade Earth. And you are their only hope, like Obi-Wan Kenobi, or something like that. So again, you can see some more barrels. Here, this used to be a place where... Oh, we got an infinite time capsule, that's nice. Could have sworn there was uh, something else here. Oh well, let's break that. Here it used to be a place where you, we could learn to uh, to block, like for example, we learned to block this little guy here. Uh, basically, we could learn the counters and the various uh, well, the various counter moves. 
Uh, but they've changed that. Nowadays you can just power through uh, the evil enemies. Like here, technically you should use your square button to interrupt uh, the, the attack. And uh, what's the, now, the last one? Uh, let's try again. Interrupt. Oh. I interrupted the barrel. Oh, and here we have to block break. Basically the enemies are going to block. And we have to use a triangle to block break them. But as you can see, it doesn't really matter. Just attacking them is enough to, to defeat them. So basically we've learned uh, one more power and we have, we've earned one more power and we've also gained uh, one more skill point which doesn't matter. So let's go to our loadout. So the new power we got is a fear gas. Uh, let's see, where should I put it? I'll leave it here. I have a specific ways to arrange my powers, but this doesn't matter. So again you can grab barrels like this and just using the square button break them on the ground. This is a healing barrel that heals you. Uh, in the past, uh, healing barrels also gave you back power, but I think they, they changed that at some point. I'm not sure why exactly. And again, if you want to get ahead uh, in uh, some of the feats, you can break every single healing barrel in here. Oh yeah, I should probably show you what the uh, fear gas does. I'll try to do it with... Uh, to use the ability on a, on a... So you can see five orange barrel feet. For the barrels, I think uh, the, the biggest feat is like a thousand barrels. So don't hesitate to break any barrel you meet, you see. Ideally, uh, try to use them uh, like we're going to keep to save the last one to fight some evil robots. But there's no reason uh, once you're done with your mission not to break the barrels, unless sometimes there are uh, certain uh, missions where there's a, a feat attached to that. Like there's some missions that will uh, require you not to. Actually, it's not to use colas or supercharge. I don't think. Uh, there are missions that ask you not to use barrels, but I, I could be misremembering. Uh, there might be a mission where you're not supposed to, to use barrels. So here the fear gas, let's give it a try. So you can see there's a... Oh, we didn't really see that. We can see the gas, but let, let's try it again. So basically it's a spray of gas. Oh, and we broke out. It's a, a spray of gas that you can uh, sand into a whole bunch of enemies. Now let's try against those little guys. We don't see the effect of the, the spray. I'm so sad. Oh, and I burned uh, through my power. Uh, let's try again the fear gas. I'm not sure why. Okay, there we saw the spray. Uh, for the blue barrels, I'm not sure if there's a feat attached to those. I, I don't recall. But again, whenever there's a, an orange barrel like this, uh, there's no reason uh, not to break it. Or even better yet, uh, grab it and bring it with you to the next fight. So here we're going to fight uh, the ship's evil guardian, but uh, well, we're going to have to do a little thing uh, before that. So basically some missions have uh, various objectives. Uh, you're going to see uh, here the ob objective will be to break uh, those uh, thingy here. Uh, as you saw I've used uh, mostly uh, my melee attack, but there's also some range attack that I could use. But uh, at this point in time, uh, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use it uh, probably uh, after after defeating this boss. Uh, basically, there's a, a, a place where there's a whole wave of enemies that we have to defeat. So that's probably when I will uh, I will use that ability. My range attack, I mean. So here we have the evil robot. We could uh, use a barrel. As you can see, there's uh, quite a few healing barrels. So if you need to, you can use a healing barrel uh, while you fight the evil boss. You can use a mixture of uh, power and, uh, and uh, weapon. At this point, it uh, doesn't really matter. Use, uh, use pretty much what you prefer. And before the cinematic starts, let's grab a little, uh, little barrel. Also before the cinematic starts, we should be able to equip. Uh, so as you saw, we gained a belt and we gained uh, a cape. Human, you have doomed yourself. So let's wait a bit. Down with this ship. Think again, Brainiac. You can't take out the so here we see our friend uh, Superman. Not leaving until we shut this ship down. And we see him with the, the new model that we got with the Earth uh, 3 DLC. So usually what I do here, I just break the barrel here, and then I use a range attack on pretty much any enemies. Uh, depending on which power I use, uh, some powers sometimes will have a nice uh, range attack power. 
Here I could use uh, the Tracer Pool a bit, but mostly I'll use uh, whatever reach ability I have. And as you can see, I reached uh, 25 hit on the counter, on the hit counter. Basically, whenever you attack, I'm not sure if you can see it here. You can see the, some hits uh, that appear on the screen. Basically, if you can manage to hit, uh, to keep on hitting enemies uh, without stopping, uh, there are various feats attached to that. There's a, a feat, I think, at uh, 50 hits, 100 hits, 200 hits. So there's various, uh, various time points in time where you will gain uh, more feats with that. NPCs uh, become a little small in the screen. So here you can see there's uh, again a whole bunch of barrels. I don't no reason not to break them. Uh, again, I forget uh, what's the the, the last uh, feat for the red barrels. Could be that uh, it's only five uh, five barrels and there's no more after. Uh, let's go check just for fun. Uh, that would probably be in general feats. So basically, you can see there's a whole bunch of feats that we can uh, we can get. So burst oven, a 5 turret chest, 100 hit counter, 25, okay, so you can see there's still 25 uh, exploding barrels, red barrels, uh, as you can see we're up to 23. For the orange barrels, uh, it goes up to 1000 for the healing barrels. Uh, for the red barrels, I forget how many uh, was the, the last feat, but anyway, so you can see there's various feats uh, that you can get. So when you're here, try to destroy every barrel you can, and do that until you get all the feats involving the barrels. So let's talk to our friend, and you can see, oh, let's take a good look at our friend Superman while we're here. So basically this is the new Superman model that we got with the Earth 3 DLC. Uh, basically they decided to give Superman pretty much the same look he had in uh, Rebirth at the time. Uh, sadly, just a few months later, they gave him back his red shorts. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't change the model again. I guess uh, maybe at some point in time they will change the model again to reflect how he looks in the comics right now. But right now we're still with, uh, we, he still has the Rebirth look. And uh, it's still the look we got from the Earth 3 DLC. So nice let's start to our friend Superman. Brainiac wasn't counting on you breaking free and disabling his ship. Now use the teleporter and get yourself back to the city. We've got work to do. So here I'm going to skip the cinematic. Uh, basically I made a video yes. with all the cinematics. Yeah. I think it's called uh, This Universe Online the Movie or something. If you want to see all the cinematics or at least a whole bunch of cinematics from This Universe Online, uh, you can search through my videos for the This Universe Online uh, the Movie video. Uh, here we're going to get another cinematic that I'm going to skip again. Oh, I heard someone leveling up. Could it be us? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it could be another uh, another player. So at this, oh no, wait, it was us. Uh, so now, so you can see by the time you, we we finish the Brainiac mission, our character is level four. So once we exit uh, the Brainiac ship, we're into the. Uh, hmm, I forget which one this is. Okay, it's so the Gotham East End uh, Police Station. So I guess I'm going to stop here, and next time we're going to explore the, the police uh, station. I guess we, um, I'm, I should make probably a video just with the police station. Uh, pretty much all the police stations are pretty similar. So if you can know, if you know the layout of one police station, it should help you with uh, a whole bunch of them. Oh, here we have a nice uh, Shazam character. I'm surprised he's using this emblem. And uh, there's a trinket if you're wondering who can ch turn your character into uh, some sort of man bat. So you can see our friend here uh, seems to be using that trinket. So again, uh, this is this is going to be the first in a series of uh, many videos. Basically, what I will do is that I will level up this character from level one to level thirty. Uh, I suspect it'll be, I don't know, a dozen videos, maybe more. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see uh, how long it takes. Uh, basically, if you if you don't want to wait for me to do all those videos, I've already uh, leveled up character from level 1 to level uh, 60 to level 100 in the past. So if you look at my videos from my, uh, again, my Black Lantern Batman uh, videos, if you're looking for my Captain Marvel videos, or now known as Shazam, uh, basically, there's, I have a whole bunch of videos that I've made where I did level up a character from level 1 all the way up to level 60, 100, depending on the character. But basically with this character, I will level it up at least on the, uh, up to level 30. Uh, again, I have videos after level 30. I've made videos with uh, my Batman Beyond character. 
but those videos are are sadly a bit outdated some of them uh, are from like uh, three years to three and a half years ago so i was overdue for a new video uh, a new uh, a new walkthrough video anyway so that's pretty much it for now guys so uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask so in the comment section down below and i'll see what i can do about answering your questions so as always guys thanks for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys next time bye bye